Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and somebody is upset. They're crying and crying. And welcome back to Beholder. This is Beholder. That's what I usually do is I say I'm the Ronin Pawn and then this. You, you, ma'am, ma'am, is there something that I need to talk to you about? Um, because I need to talk to somebody. What is it? Um, I need to talk to Shimmer's wife and Mark Rannick. Ask about Klaus Shimmer. Didn't I already ask you about him? I already told you all I know, dear. Yeah, yeah, you did. Oh, wait, wifey is up. Wifey is up. Wife, I got a pot for... Are you kidding me? She's been on me to get this freaking pan so she can make a compote for our daughter. Now I've got it. I want to talk to her. And she just doesn't want it. She won't talk to me anymore. God, it's actually like being married. Ooh, is this Shimmer's wife? Is this Shimmer's wife? I need to, I need to speak to somebody who's Shimmer's wife. Have I already asked you about Shimmer? Ask about your husband. How does your husband do? He looked upset. He really doesn't feel well. He received a parcel with a film. Klaus likes shooting photos very much. This will cheer him up. I've spoken to Klaus's wife now. Excuse me, sir. You might have some books for my son. He's asked me about some books. What do you want from the honored archive worker? You get where I'm going here? Um, ask about yeah, books for Patrick. Mr. Mark, you're an educated person. Please advise. Where can I find textbooks on economics? A library can be an option, but there's always a line in it. What's wrong about libraries? It's quiet in there. Nice place for a young man. Can you spend money on something more useful but books? Thanks, but I doubt my son appreciates your advice. Oh, great. The archive worker, of course, is not the solution to I need books. What do you think about Klaus Schimmer? I wanted to ask you about Klaus. Why are you interested in this? He says as his eyebrow goes down and the other lifts. Um, say the truth about the ore or reply muzzy. I don't know what muzzy is, but I'm going to give him a little bit of the old muzz. I don't know anything you don't know yourself. Moreover, curiosity is a mean sin, says the guy who reads books all day long. I had a fellow worker. He always poked his nose into other people's business and documents. Oh, so, wow. I'm not trying to make enemies here, but we're learning more about uh, the honored archive worker. I don't think he's actually in there about the books. I think he's a mole for the, the Liberty State, the, the, the Revolution. Ask what happened to him. He was sent to jail. You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. Oh, he had a friend who poked his nose and then he went to jail. Will you talk to me now, wife? Jesus, God, I've had this compote pan in my pocket for an hour and a half. Will you just take it from me already? What, Carl? Um, talk about the saucepan. Have you found a saucepan, Carl? I've prepared everything for a compote. Yes, Maria Shimmer from apartment number one saved us. Spare no sugar for the compote. Love, it looked like water last time, and you always ruin the frickin' omelets every morning. It's just burn and it's chewy. It looks like water because we have neither sugar nor apples. Apples are illegal. I am a servant of the state. It's not my guilt that you couldn't get a provision card for sugar. Cheer up, sweetheart. Now we have enough sugar. Carl, talk to Martha. She looks so upset but doesn't tell me what happened. I'm fixing things and there's things breaking all the time. Ask about Martha's doll. Have you seen the old doll that Martha used to play with, Anna? She can't find it. This is why she's so upset and afraid of talking to me. Maybe it's behind the wardrobe or under the bed? Question mark? I think I've checked under all the beds. Come on, teddy bear. Yes! I found it! I found the old doll! And now, I'll bet you anything, she won't talk to me. She's too absorbed in television, right? <laughs> no, she's gonna talk to me. Look, I found the doll. What's your doll's name? Naira, I miss you so much. Will you find it? Already found! Here's your doll! Just like Dad, the tricker. Be like, well, what's your doll's name again? I'm still trying to look for... Does she look like this? Thanks, Dad. I've thought out a great game. Want me to tell you about it? Naira will be a miner blocked in the mine, and I'll be a rescuer. What a game! Maybe you'd better play with cubes! We don't have Minecraft, Father. It's 1984. I'll build a mine of... Cubs? I'm sorry. Cubes or cubs? <clears throat> it's nice, nice speaking to you, daughter. Okay, I've solved most of the problems here. Um, I need to find economic books for Patrick. What do I need to do? I must write characteristics of Klaus Schimmer. I've only got 38 hours to get it done. Okay, let's get over here and do some work. My god! I really do feel like I am under the gun here, probably because I screwed up my first playthrough so bad that time just ran away on me and I didn't realize that it was passing. Now I feel like I gotta get everything done. He's 40, he's a tobacco seller, he's male, and I've learned all of this stuff about him. So characterize him. Mr. Klaus Schimmer, living in apartment... Shoot. 
living in apartment, um, I mean, apartment one, right? Sure. Apartment number one, he's male, he's married, because I talked to his wife, um, I'm assuming she has the same last name, Shimmer. His occupation is tobacconist. He's a tobacconist, and I have determined all of these things about him. There you go. Send that off to the state. I did it! And I got rewards and stuff. Yay! Hello, Ministry of Order. I did the thing. Time to act, Comrade Carl. You must evict Klaus Shimmer. Why? He's a sommelier. I was gonna hang out with him. Um, to ask about Shimmer's what? Why do I have to evict him? He's a lovely man. There's nothing. He wasn't touching the apples, Ministry of Order. What will happen to his wife if I evict him? We don't care about her. Oh, do what you think is best. I think we don't evict Klaus Shimmer. Oh, ask about eviction measures. How can I evict Shimmer? You can talk to Shimmer. He'll be content if he moves out. Oh, we'll be content. I was going to say, he's not going to be content. But it will be better if you report him when he violates the directives. Oh, so these are my options. Either kick him out of his home, or wait until I see him eating apples, and then F him over and send him to prison and send his wife and they never see each other again. All right. I guess I'm kicking him out. This is your duty, Comrade Carl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Talk to you later. Okay. Good talk to you, too. Nice combo. Who would who would I talk to about books? You know what? Maybe I just go into Dude's apartment. That's an idea. Maybe I just go into the Honorable Archive Worker's apartment and pull his books. That's a thought there. Excuse me, sir. I know you're heading to the bus. Hello. Um... Uh, so are you Klaus Schimmer? Uh, let me ask you about some books for my son first. You're an educated person, Klaus. We're gonna find textbooks on economics. My son was blah 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 and a blibbity blue and a flibbity flu. Oh, the issue with the library is well known to me. It's not just the line. The library workers should also like you. Otherwise, they'll drive you away without any explanations. But I can help you. I have books left since the time I used to work in the counting bureau. I'd be happy if they help your son in study. I'm sure all people should have higher education. It's a pity not many people support this opinion. You saved my son. Thank you, Klaus. It's Klaus. Klaus Schimmer was the man with the books. And not only my son, but my wallet, too. <laughs> so the, the, the other thing, Klaus, I was just, um, I just had, uh, there's one other thing I needed to mention. Klaus says, my wife told me you'd asked her about me. I also know that you talked to other tenants about me. What happened? Um, I'm just gonna, can I just let you in on this? Can I just tell you what's going on, Klaus? Because I feel really bad about this. Let's just talk about it. You must be more careful, comrade Klaus. Let's take it up to the point. I've received an order to evict you from the house. What? They want to evict me from my house? Unthinkable. It was his to begin with this whole place before they turn it into an apartment. If only I could, I'd leave this pokey hole of a place long ago. Well, my problems should not bother you. Thanks for warning. What are you going to do? Uh, I'd love to offer you some help. I, I feel bad about this, Klaus. I want to help you. Why don't you leave the city? This is very suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? I... I... I listen, listen. I'm asking not because of my curiosity. I do want to help you. I'm hunted. It's hard to believe that anyone is interested in my troubles. I was sent to the tobacco shop, to that tiny wooden booth in the worst place near the fish market. They took my absentee certificate. I'm chained here without it. You understand? Oh, can he not leave? I don't understand. What's an absentee certificate? You should know such things, Carl. This is a document you need to get access to strategic facilities or leave the city. Railway stations, ports, roads with checkpoints are closed for me. Oh, crap. Um, why don't you take it? You won't believe me. I received an official response from the Ministry. The documents were sent to the archives for the data update. They said I could take them from the archive. <coughs> Recording the fourth episode in a row. Talking ad nauseum. It's, your throat does seize up on you. I went to the archives. They said there were no documents left. I spent a week in the line to visit an inspector in order to hand in a detection application. Two months later, I received a reply that I'd used a wrong form for my application. Basically, I'm screwed. You mean the documents got lost in the archives? Yes, the documents are in the archive. They say it's a typical scheme to drive visitors crazy. I don't know if it's a joke or not, 
The Ministry of Distribution has white hands. There's nothing we can do about the archives. End the dialogue. Let's what I can do about your absentee certificate. Let's see what I can do is the word that you need to put into that text developer that you left. Ooh, 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 there's a guy. Guy wants to talk to me. Wow, that was a long-ass conversation. And meanwhile, um, Mr. Tubby's going on a ship here. What do you want? Well, you're the one with an exclamation point over your head, you brick. Uh, special offer. I have a deal. It hard time. Everyone does best as he could. I have canned fish. You know everyone around. Find who I can sell this to, and I'll pay generously. Oh. Oh. Ask about the quality. Wait, what kind of canned food is it? Good quality, or as usual? The best quality is brought from abroad. It will go like hot pies, but it's dangerous for me to go to market. I want to sell them quietly, without pay attention to myself. Hmm. I found the canned food in the hold. Nobody used the cans. The first rule of the barge, if it's not nailed down, it belongs to nobody. So I took as many as I could carry. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can do that for you. I'll sell your uh, stolen food that you stole from the bastards that are making me kick out good, good Klaus Shimmer. <laughs> Is it Klaus Shimmer? I forgot. Is it Marco? Mary? Mary Shimmer? She's the Shimmers. Here's a crate with 50 cans. Wholesale price per can is 50. You can sell one per 100 at the market. Then the crate costs 3,000. You sell everything and give me 3,000. All Everything above that is your profit. Ooh. Did you see my generosity? I don't know. Did I? Did I see it? Where is it? I've got so many things going right now, I have no idea anymore. Okay. I need to find the economics books for Patrick, and I did. Patrick. Don't go to sleep. God, just when I get things for people, they won't talk to me. Talk to me, son. You know I've always loved you. You know I've... No, not to the wife. To the... Son. Son. Oh, God. Freaking hell. Oh, look at that. The mission name for getting Shimmer's papers back is Papers, please. Oh. 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 How do I do the, the other thing with the great offer? Ooh, 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 son, 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 will you talk to me now, son? Yes. Son, um, ask about books for study. Have you found out anything about the books, father? Here are your books. Wow, I'll set about my work. I couldn't have dreamed of such wealth. I may not go to Rat's Nest. To the library, I mean. <laughs> Thank Klaus Shimmer from apartment number one. This is his gift, his parting gift. Say goodbye to him, son. I didn't even get to sample his wines. Your neighbor is so great, I wish everyone was like him. Me too, son. Me too. Uh-oh, now the wife needs to talk to me again. Did I do it? I completed all of the missions. Wife should be happy now, right? Wife, maybe this is why I'm going to the wife now, because I did all of the things to maintain the household. What, Carl? Um, learn what happened. Anything happened. Martha is sick. Jesus, God, it's one thing after the next. We have no medicine at home. Can you find aspirin for our girl? I've been waiting in line for an age only to find out that a prescription is needed. Of course, I'll find them. Anything serious about Martha? No, it's just a fever heat. I don't like how she feels. Okay, okay, fair enough. I can take care of that. Ooh, honored archive. Damn it! Frickin' honored archive workers leaving the house. Just when I need to talk to them. I gotta find medicine for Martha. I got, like, the cans of tuna to sell. I got the papers, please. I gotta talk to the honored archive worker who just left for work. The ministry order. I need to find a way to evict Klaus Schimmer from department number one, which is tied to the whole papers, please directive thing. <sighs> and I should probably be putting up more security cameras while people are away. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, this guy. This guy, okay? This is the guy I need to talk to, because he's the seller, and maybe I can sell my fish to him. My compliments, comrade. Talk about the canned food. Do you need imported canned food? Fifty cans for three thousand. Imported? Why are the cans so bruised, then? I'll take it. It's always on demand. Come tomorrow, I give you money. No, that's not how we do it. Dude, that's not how we do it. You don't take the goods and then give me money. Where you think we live, huh? Okay, bus is coming back. Tell me tell me there's an honored arch archive worker on this bus. Come on, buddy. Pull away. Pull away. I'm waiting for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh that looks like a little old lady who wants coffee. Yeah. Honored archive worker, though. Eh. Let me, let me talk to you. Damn it. Nobody wants to talk to me when they get home from work. Balls. Excuse me, ma'am. Good afternoon. Um, can I ask you about um, aspirin? Do you know where I can buy aspirin, Rose? I don't know, dear. I was given this in the hospital. Do you have aspirin? Can you give me the pills, Rose? Ask anything you want. My daughter is sick. What do you want? The weather is so nasty. Bring me a cardigan, then. 
find the cardigan and back to the talk later to. <laughs> it says find the cardigan and back to the talk later. I actually like it. Don't change a thing, okay? It just makes me feel more like I'm in a foreign country. I hope my husband doesn't take the pills until you're back. Oh, good. Why don't you put a freaking time limit on me then? I need I need a cardigan for you. Let me know if you have any problems. Do I even? Maybe I've got a cardigan. Don't stand in the road. The freaking buses come by here. You'll you'll end up dead. Son, have you seen a cardigan around? Maybe I should talk to my wife about the cardigan. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I wonder if my wife would have a cardigan on her. Um, or maybe we just have one in the house, and then my wife will be pissed off that I stole her freaking cardigan. I don't care. It's to keep our daughter well. What have we got in the cupboards? Show me cardigan. Show me nothing in the wardrobe. Quit wearing all the clothes, or at least wash them occasionally. Well, since no one is around, everyone's gone to bed at this early hour. It's only 1 a.m. Come on. Bunch of freaking plebs. I guess I'll check the mail, which I haven't done in a number of days. Ministry of Truth noticed an increasing interest in philosophical books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His books described obsolete ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic, however they still capture people's minds. The ministry believes the ideas of a society without government and priority of the freedom of personal choice are dangerous and ought to be destroyed. I do too. Frickin' philosophy. <coughs> Whoa. Whoa. Is this something like taped to the back of the paper? The fact that our society is capable of understanding Paul Williams' ideas en masse proves his unique talent and ability to word things simply. We should encourage that interest to the great thinkers of the past if we want to progress and initiate cultural dialogue between people in the state. Philosophy is nonsense. Is it? Wait, that seems counter to what you just, just said there. What? Okay, so someone, and my son just happens to be walking by, is writing anti-government rhetoric, uh, otherwise known as, like, just reasonable thinking. I need to talk to the Honored Archive worker, and I am running out of time on this whole Martha is sick matter. Okay, listen, it's 8 in the morning and everything. I'm going to apartment 3. I'm banging on the door. I need to talk to the Honored Archive worker, because I need to get these papers. Darn it. And I should probably also install some security cameras to monitor these pricks. I could open up another one of these buildings, couldn't I, with all the money I've got? Listen, I'm a little bit overwhelmed already. What do you want from the Honored Archive worker? Um, ask about how to help Shimmer. You work in the archives, old man? What's it to you? You know this even without me. I need your help. One good man can't receive a document from the archives. Who are you talking about? Documents of good people are not taken out of the archives. Don't pitch me a line. Um, do I ride off on a side issue or tell the honest story? Tell the honest story! And this guy's a little bit... I think he's, like, he's a good guy, and he thinks that I'm a bad guy, because I've done some things to prove that to be true. I'm talking about Shimmer from apartment number one. He fell from grace with the state, they took his absentee certificate, and now he's chained. I don't like him. He works in the tobacco shop, but has never given me tobacco for free. He behaves like this and talks so rude because of fear. Help me! Bring his absentee certificate, honored archive worker, I beg of you! They can't live without it, do you understand? Deal. But you owe me a bottle of whiskey. I can't get access to confiscated documents without it. <laughs> I've gotta be drunk to make the magic happen. Will do! Okay. Bottle of whiskey, um, a frickin' sash for the scarf for the old lady, some aspirin, and... A million other things. Here in Beholder, I am the Ronin Pawn. And I'm in now. I'm in, and I don't know if I can dig myself out. Wait, 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 Dude with the fish. Dude with the fish is back. I want to talk to him right now, because I'll forget by next episode my compliments, comrade. Um, take money for canned food as agreed. I'm waiting for my money. Three thousand. Your canned food is non-seller. It is hard to get rid of. I have no money on this. Here's the envelope with a half. Say thank you even for this. You! Prick! You prick with a 1500! I can't take that back to the dude! And you're lying! This is why you don't just get- Oh god, I got so many problems and be older! Pawn out!